Hey guys, welcome back again to the channel. Happy to see you in another video. In today's video, we'll be covering two concepts. We'll be understanding the case statement and we'll be understanding how to use the distinct clause in SQL. Okay. If you've not watched the previous videos on the group by clause, having clause, and also the where clause, I have linked those videos in the description section. Do check them out as they are also interesting, important topics for beginners. Okay. If you like the channel, if you like the content in the channel, do subscribe to the channel and follow the channel for further insights on data analytical tools. Let's dive right into the video. As you've seen in the previous video, I'm using like the same database here and uh, also the same table. So the name of the database is cricket, as you might know, and name of the table is marks. So we have the ID of the student, the name of the student, the section he belongs to. There are two sections, A and B his midterm marks, what did he score in midterm exams and also his final exam marks, right? So now the first use case, like where we would need the case statement is, say we wanted to give grades to the student based on their final exam marks, okay? So if he got 90 or above, we would give him an A grade. If he got between 80 to 89, we would give him a B grade. If he got below 80, then we'll assign him a C grade, right? How would we do that using the case statement in SQL? So we need to apply a condition on an already existing column called final exam marks. And based on the condition, we have to get this new column, which is called as grade, right? How would we do that is, so say, wanna see the name, the final exam marks, and also the corresponding grade, right, as the output. So you first write the name of the student as usual, then the final exam marks, right? Uh, the column is already there in the table. Let's put that. And then now comes our calculation, right, for the grade column, right? So how the case statement works is, so first you write case when, right? Like that's how the syntax starts. And then, as I said, the first condition is, so I want like if the final exam marks, right, is greater than 90, right? Greater than or equal to 90, right? Even 90 is considered a grade. If it is greater than or equal to 90, then I give it a grade A as I told you, okay? Then for the second condition, right? when the same, uh, take the same column again. I told you if it is between 80 to 89, we give a B grade, right? So here we could use the between class. So you say when final exam marks between and put those two numbers, right? The 80 and 89. And then you would say, okay, then you say, okay, give it a B grade, okay? So now we could, say it in two ways. We could say when final exam marks less than 80, then C, or in this particular case, since we don't have any other conditions, we could also as well say else C, right? So if, if you know, this condition, the condition number one, greater than or equal to 90 or between 80 and 89 is not met, then we want to assign it C grade, right? And then once you put the else, you would say end as, right? This is part of the syntax and give it a name, right? I'm writing it as grade, right? That's the column name I want to display. So to recap, we say case when, then you put the first condition and then the, you know, the output you want for the new column, if that condition works. If not, then check if, you know, the second condition works, then assign B, else, then you assign C. And then you put end as and the name of the new column you want to create. So now when I run this, you will see 89 got a grade B because it lies between 80 and 89. Uh, Ajay got 59 marks. It is below 80. So we give it a C, right? Most of these people are below 80. They get a C grade. And again, Akshay has an A grade be because he scored 90. As you see, greater than or equal to 90, we give it an A grade, right? It's a simple use case of the case shape. Okay. Now, let me show you how or where we can use the distinct clause. Okay. So I'll just uh, select star again from this table and say you want, like we have different sections here, right? Say we wanted to know the unique values of the section, right? So as we can see, this data is small. So we know it's only A and B, right? The unique values for the section, but how would we do that in SQL using distinct, right? It's a very simple one liner. So you just say distinct and the name of the column, right? In this case, I select section from cricket.marks. And I run that, I get the distinct values. Like all the duplicates are eliminated. We get the unique values. 
uh, here a section has only two unique values a and b right this is a very simple use case of the distinct state okay now let's apply the same concepts to the other database we have like the slightly marketing and business oriented database okay so as you see i just want to recap the data so we have the name of the market where we have like new zealand russia india argentina and so on name of the audience it is like old people uh, children adults and so on the name of the campaign did the person come in through google uh, facebook email and so on and some uh, marketing metrics like the clicks the cost of the advertising campaign the fees and so on okay so here we could have a new use case say we wanted to show the language spoken in that particular country as a new column uh, based on an existing column which is market right so pretty similar to the previous example there based on the marks we wanted to assign the grade here based on the market we want to assign the language right so we could do that as well in sql so i'll first select market okay then i would say case when and uh, in this database we know we have new zealand australia and i think these are the two primary countries which speak english so just let's put that so when you would say case when market in so if you don't understand in go back to the uh, var clause videos i would have explained in clearly so you would say var market in new zealand comma australia right it's pretty much english like so when market is in new zealand so australia then i would assign it a value english right they speak english in these countries then i would say when market in and we have two spanish speaking countries we actually have argentina arg and we have uh, chile both are in south america and both speak spanish okay so i'll close that then i would say then spanish then i guess i have russia so i put when okay i didn't close spanish okay yeah when market is equal to uh, i would say rsa which is russia say then uh, I speak russian right in russia so we'll put that i just copy this i think we have two more countries so we have pakistan and i would put urdu here the last one is india so india we speak a lot of languages so i'd put like multiple languages right and if it's not in any of these countries right suppose that happens like we would use the else and you would say else and but thankfully in this database each row has one of these countries only we don't have any other country but just for the sake of uh, safety we are putting the else condition i will say else unknown then as usual end as the syntax and language i am giving it the name of the column as language so now when we run this right so as you see i just drag this a little bit down see the full query select market and the case statement starts we put new zealand australia then argentina chile then russia pakistan india then the else and yeah there we can now run the statement now you will see so whenever it's new zealand we see language is english india we see it's multiple languages right and then as i scroll down chile we get spanish australia english russia russian right so that's a simple use case of the case state okay uh, with respect to uh, creating a new column based on an existing textual column right so let's finish this video with one small point about how we can use distinct here in this case so i'll remove all this of all say in this particular case we wanted to find the unique values of the campaign right like so we have google and google is repeating a lot of times same with email and facebook as well we want to only see the unique values for campaign how would we do that just like we saw now we would uh, use the distinct just say distinct and campaign as simple as that now run that i get the five distinct values google facebook email youtube instagram all the duplicates have been eliminated i just get the unique values for the campaign okay we saw how to use the case statement various use cases and also we saw how to find unique values for a particular column using the uh, distinct clause okay 
if you like the videos do subscribe to the channel and uh, it will give me an indication that i can make further videos in these topics and relevant insights can be given on these topics i'll see you again in another video till then take care and bye